<coughs> World Happiness Report. Eight World Happiness Report has come out. The most important thing in anybody's life or in any country's life is happiness. But this thing has not been understood or recognized by many countries and many political parties. In July 2011, Bhutanese General Assembly passed a resolution inviting national governments to give more importance to happiness and well-being in determining how to achieve and measure social and economic development. Which I should repeat, give more importance to happiness and well-being in determining how to achieve and measure social and economic development. So, to measure the development of any country, it should not be GDP, it should not be per capita income, but it should be the per capita happiness of the people. But this thing has not been understood by many people. So now, the first World Happiness Index or report came out in the year 19, uh, to, uh, sorry, in 2012. So what are the factors uh, considered in determining the happiness of these countries? That is what we are going to review now. I am Advocate Ismail Wufa from India a psychologist and social scientist. So after analyzing the report, now, which contains about uh, 200 pages, the factors are, one thing is sense of freedom to make key life decisions. How far people are free to make the decisions. This is one of the criterion for deciding the happiness of the citizens. The generosity of the people, how generous the people are. Then trust between the citizens. In many countries you can see there is no trust between the citizens. Thieves are there, cheaters are there. That means there is no trust between the citizens of the country. Next thing is the income equality and inequality. To be happy, there should be what you call economic socialism. That is also said in Indian constitution too, in, in theory. Another factor in making people happy is the health level. It's very important. Another factor considered is safety in the street at night. It's very important. In some cities and countries, if somebody walks in the night, his, his life is not safe, especially the ladies. Yeah. Another consideration is social support and security. If somebody has a problem, will the family be support? Will the friends support? or is there any welfare scheme from the government side to support him. Next thing is the neighborhood safety. That's also very important. Neighbors should be safe, you know, from each other. Another thing that is found to make people happy is corrupt, corruption-free government. Corruption-free institutions. We can see in many countries, corruption is so rampant. Another thing is the gender equality. Gender equality. 
equality between sexes. That is also a matter of uh, uh, happiness. So regarding uh, this thing, the Nordic countries, that is the Scandinavian countries, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Switzerland, all these countries are said to be uh, the happiest countries in the world. Another thing is that the qualities of the government, the quality of the government, that's also very important in making people happy. Then freedom of expression is also said to be very important in making people happy, according to the World Happiness Report. The freedom of association. In certain countries, there is no freedom to form associations. Yeah. Another very important factor in making people happy is meeting of the basic needs. And men become happy when their needs are met. When needs are met, when needs are satisfied, men are satisfied. So, these are some of the factors of making a country happy. But beyond this, happiness, these are the external factors of happiness. But there are internal factors of happiness. Happiness is a mental state in which one would like to be. Yeah in which one would like to be. So even after, you know, even in adverse situations, one can be happy. So the more important is the internal happiness, the mental state. So training is needed to be happy mentally. This thing has been almost ignored in the World Happiness Report. But one thing they have done, that is, they made a Gallup poll, asked the citizens how happy they are, giving them a, a, an happiness scale from 0 to 10, that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So citizens were asked to mark their happiness level on this scale and they took the average on the basis of that uh, thing have been decided. Now let me read out the countries of the world. Number one is Finland, number one. The average happiness is 7.8 out of 10 or you can say 78%. Second is Denmark, third rank comes to Switzerland, fourth is Iceland, fifth is Norway, sixth is Netherlands, seven is Sweden, eight is New Zealand, nine Austria, ten is Luxembourg, eleven Canada, twelve Australia, thirteen United Kingdom, fourteen Israel, their happiness scale, average happiness is seven point one two. Then 15 Costa Rica, 16 Ireland, 17 Germany, 18 United States. Their average happiness level is 6.94. 19 Czech Republic, 20 Belgium, 21 United Arab Emirates. That way the first Muslim country is UAE. And they have a deputy minister for happiness also. 22 is Malta, 23 France, 24 Mexico, 25 Taiwan, 26 Uruguay, and 27 is Saudi Arabia. Another Muslim country, and their average happiness level is 6.4, that is 64%. Then Spain, Guatemala, then 30 is Italy, 31 Singapore, 32 Brazil, 33 Slovenia, 34 is and, uh, and Salvador, 35 Kosovo, 36 is Panama, 37 is Slovakia, and 38 is Uzbekistan. 
39 is Chile, 40 is Bahrain, 41 is Lithuania, 42 is Trinidad, 43 is Poland, 44 is Colombia, 45 is Cyprus, 46 is Nicaragua, 47 is Romania, 48 is Kuwait, 49 is Mauritius, 50 is Kazakhstan, 51 is Estonia, 52 is Philippines. Then, 53 is Hungary, 54 is Thailand, 55 is Argentina, 56 is Honduras, 57 is La uh, Latvia, 58 is Ecuador, 59 is Portugal, 60 is Jamaica, 61 is South Korea, 62 is Japan, 63 is Peru, 64 is Serbia, 65 is Bolivia, 66 is Pakistan. Pakistan, the happiness, um, average happiness level is 5.69, that is 56%. 67 Prague, 68 is Dominican, 69 is Bosnia, 70 is Moldova, 71 is Tajikistan, 72 is Montenegro, 73 is Russia, you see where Russia stands, 73, a socialist country, a communist country, so it is not a paradise, one should understand. Next is Kyrgyzstan, 75 is Belarus, uh, 76 is Northern Cyprus, 77 is Greece, and it's a very old country, you should know, the average happiness is 5.5. 5. 78 is Hong Kong, you see, very big business center, but the level is, you know, the ranking is 78. 79, uh, Croatia, 80 is Libya, 81 is Mongolia, 82 is Malaysia, 83 is Vietnam, 84 is Indonesia, 85 is Ivory Coast, 86 is Benin, 87 is Maldives, it's a beautiful island and all that. The, they rank 87 <coughs> in, in the ranking. <coughs> 88 Congo, then 89 is Azerbaijan, 90 is uh, Macedonia, 91 is Ghana, 92 is Nepal, 93 is Turkey, 94 is China, and see, China, we say, the most populous country in the world and uh, business is also very good but the happiness ranking is 94 and the average uh, happiness level is 5.12 then 95 is Turkmenistan, 96 is Bulgaria, 97 is Morocco, 98 is Cameroon, 99 is Venezuela and 100 is Algeria, 101 is Senegal, 102 is Guinea 103 is Niger, 104 is Laos. Yeah. Then comes 105 Albania, 106 is Cambodia, 107 Bangladesh. Bangladesh is, the ranking is 107 and the average happiness level is 4.83. As I have told you, it is the average happiness. They ask people out of this 100, uh, that, uh, sorry, the 100, uh, 10 uh, number scale and they took the average. 180 is Gabon, 109 is South Africa. South Africa, you see. Then 110 is Iraq, 111 is Lebanon, 112 is uh, Burkina Faso, 113 is Gambia, 140 is Mali, 115 is Nigeria, 116 is Armenia, 170 is Georgia, 180 is Iran. 190 is Jordan, 120 Mozambique, 121 Kenya, 122 is Namibia, 123 is Ukraine, 124 is Liberia, 125 is Palestinian territories, 126 Uganda, 127 is Chad, 128 is Tunisia, 129 is Mauritia, Mauritia, Mauritania, 130 is Sri Lanka, 131 is Congo. 132 is Swaziland, 133 is uh, Myanmar, 134 is Comoros, 135 is Togo, 136 is Ethiopia. We know all that. This is an underdeveloped country. 137 is uh, Madagascar, 138 is Egypt, 139 is Sierra Leone, 140 is uh, Burundi, 141 is Zambia, 142 is Haiti, 143 is 
Lesotho, 144 is India. That is another beautiful part of it. The greatest democracy in the world, the greatest constitution of the world. But happiness-wise, India stands 144. The happiness level is 3.57. That's my country. 145 Malawi, 146 is Yemen, 147 is Botswana, 148 is Tanzania, 149 is Central Africa, 150 is Rwanda. I am Ismail Wofa from India, 0091-9847009508. I repeat, 0091-9847009508. Then zero zero nine one seven double five nine double eight zero two hundred. I can be contacted on this number. Hundred and fifty is uh, Rwanda, hundred and fifty one is Zimbabwe, hundred and fifty two is South Sudan, and hundred and fifty three is Afghanistan. Now one thing what I have noted is that many developed countries don't have uh, high ranking of happiness. At the same time, many developing countries and underdeveloped countries have high ranking of happiness. And one more thing, what I would like to say is that, and happiness should be the criterion. And uh, students should be given education regarding success education, health education, relationship education, then value education, then happiness education. We are running an institution by the name Caliph Life School in India in which we educate people in these six educations, especially happiness education. And that is very important. All these six education should be included in the education of any country. Then the purpose of education should be the purpose of education is happiness and this should be understood by every country of the world and every political countries of the world okay and we all should think about it anyhow this idea was given to us by Bhutan a small country a neighbor of India and this speech comes to you from advocate Ismail Wafa director Psycho Counseling Center and my number is 0091-9847009508 or 0091-755-988-0200 Thank you very much for listening to me. Please share this to all countries of the world, to all political parties of the world, and to all educational institutions of the world. Thank you very much for lending me your ears.